Dr. Adir, thank you for coming and visiting us in IBS. Uh, it's a very interesting moment because uh, Institute of Business Studies and the Academy of National Economy merged with the, another big academy in the Russian Federation. So we are now in the Russian Academy of National Economy and Public Administration under the President of Russian Federation. And taking this opportunity, I would like just to ask you several questions. First, my question is, what kind of practical advice could you give to the Russian management? I was thinking about it for quite a while, and I think I will start with an analogy. What is the most fertile land that you know? Usually people will say, you know, black, dark earth is very fertile. Not true. The most fertile land is the desert. And you say, how can it be the desert? Or you see sand, I mean, there is nothing happening there. But as you walk down, you come to an oasis, and all at once, the most fertile you can imagine, with the most fruitful trees and water and birds and everything, heaven on earth. How come? Because earth, the, the desert, has not been arabed, has not been worked. So all the ingredients are there. The only thing that's missing is water. In my experience working with Russian executives, it reminds me of the desert. Because when you walk into a room, everybody is quiet, nobody says a word, everybody waiting for the big boss to decide, nothing happening, it looks like desert. But if you bring a little bit of opportunity for them to speak, and if you create a secure environment for them to express themselves, oh my God, the individual Russian executives are among the brightest, most capable, most intelligent executives I met in working in 52 countries of the world. If the individuals are educated and capable, which reminds me of a joke, a guy lost his brain and he went to buy brain. He went into a store and he says, how much is this brain? He says, oh, this is a doctor of physics, you know, and a doctor of science, 100,000 euros. How much is that brain? Oh, that's half a million euros. It's a Nobel Prize winner. How much is that brain? Oh, that's Michael, you know, Mikhail. I mean, he is nobody. One million euros. So, how can it be? Nobel Prize, half a million, and this guy, nothing, one million. Ah, his brain is totally new, never used. <laughs> I feel that because of the system of centralization and elitism and dictatorship that Russia has experienced throughout this history, you have unbelievable, educated, capable, talented people here that are not used. Their brain is not being used. And if you look at Russians that leave this country, like in Israel, Israel is flourishing because of the Russians going to Israel. Flourishing, tremendous success. Who established Google? Russians. They don't have an opportunity here. There is no water here. There is not an environment in which they can express themselves. So my advice is to all executives, open the door to your people. Listen to your people. Create an environment where they can participate, where they can contribute. You have unbelievable underutilized resources. I would say the biggest success, the biggest asset that Russia has is not gas and is not oil, it's people. Fantastic people that are not being used, their brain are being clogged because of the managerial culture and history of elitism and centralism and dictatorship. And with all the above, what do you will suggest for the business education for these top managers? Participative management. Yes. Teach participative management. Teach people to open up, not to play God, not to play, you know, I'm the one and the only one and no. I'm the I'm I'm God and you're a what was it the word the, what is the expression expression you know I'm this and you're nothing like in the uh, army. Uh, you you mean uh, I'm the boss and you're the fool. That's right, you know I'm the boss and the fool. You're the fool. If you're the boss, I'm the fool. So yeah. you better be the fool because I'm the boss. That expression, which I understand is a joke, is a military expression. 
is the essence of the problem. So that's what the management education is to break. But how to do that? Well, you always start with showing them that as an individual, when you try to solve a case, you're not as good as when the whole team works together solving a case. That would be a very good beginning. I would say making them, giving assignments not to individuals to solve cases, but to teams to solve cases, and let's see which team wins best, and then teach them how to work as a team. We are not teaching that. We are teaching still the American system of management, which is still oriented towards the individual, which is a big mistake. It is how to work as a team. That should be the essence to break the paradigm of Russian culture, managerial culture, of working with a dictatorial, authoritarian, single-minded executive, which is the essence of the problem. Thank you very much, Dr. Radius, and okay. hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.